Aloha my kako everyone. I see people coming into the room. If you're joining us right now, this is the Aloha Rising um, webinar series that we have and we're on Zoom right now at um, oha.org slash Aloha Rising. And we're also live on the Office of Hawaiian Affairs Facebook page as well as all of our partners out there. So mahalo to all of our partners out there um, that have you know, been joining us for all these weeks as we, we bring to you topics and, and mana'o and ike from different guests all centered around civic engagement you know, and, and Native Hawaiians long history of civic engagement and then hopefully you know, inspires uh, many of you to keep on civically engaging, right? And just the basics of civic engagement, right? Voting is, is on one end of that, but we also have many different forms of, of how people can get engaged in their communities, um, in their counties, in, you know, across the Pai Aina. And for those of you that are joining us from, from Aina A, from, from lands, further than our Pai'aina Hawaii, you know, we welcome you also, right? Our family are spread across the world, and right? we all have really good work to do um, on behalf of, of our, our ohana um, here in Hawaii. So let us know where you're coming in from. Yeah, let us know all of our participants out there right now. No hea mai oko. We like to do that always at the beginning, or I like to always do that at the beginning, just so that we can acknowledge where our Hawaii is. Yeah, where are all our all of our Hawaii out there? Yeah. Um, it can be as as close as Kalihi, or as far as Europe um, and the Americas, you know, all across the world, just so that we know where all our family are coming from. Oh, yay. Some people coming in from Colorado, from right down here in the HNL in Honolulu. Um, also, Kauai, Virginia, Mililani, aloha to, to all of you. Oh, there's Kave in Virginia. Aloha, Kave. She used to work with us at the Office of Foreign Affairs. And actually, Kave, is, this is the right one. I'm only looking at. Um, you know, screen names right now, but if that's Kave. Kave, I don't know if you remember this, but you um, took me and Dr. Lili Kalakumeleihiba on our first tour of the Capitol of the, uh, the um, in Washington, D.C. Many, 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 many moons ago. Um, it took me a while to, to remember that that was you, but aloha to you. Also to our Ohana in um, DC, you know, we do have a, the Office of Foreign Affairs doesn't have an office um, in Washington DC. So welcome to all of you coming in. Oh, you work for census now, my kai. My kai. Today, um, just to give you guys a, a, a hint, we, we're gonna start in a little bit with, um, of course, Kumu. Hinali Moana Wong, who's, you know, we haven't given her um, much time over the past few weeks, and she's been amazing at being able to teach Mele um, in, a, in a really short amount of time that we, you know, that we've given her after we pao vala'o, you know, um, for a good hour, you know, then we give her five minutes to teach Mele, you know, and, and remarkably, she does it every time um, with, with such grace and energy. So mahalo to Kumihina for that. But before we get into that, you know, this is just one of the, the opportunities that we have at the Office of Hawaiian Affairs to show Aloha Rising um, to engage with our community here. Another sh showcase that we've been bringing to everyone is Ola Kahaloa, which is a half an hour show that shows on KGMB. And I'd like to just show you a preview coming up um, this week on Ola Kahaloa. This week on Ola Kahaloa, I am joined by the Kapohana of the Office of Hawaiian Affairs, Dr. Sylvia Hussey, our grants manager, Maile Lutenway, and 
of the Public Relations Officer, Sterling Wong. To answer the number one question that we always get, and that is, what does OHA do? Join us this Saturday at 6 p.m. on KGNB. Mahalo, mahalo for um, Jewel for showing that. So yes, this this week, you know, we're gonna spend the um, entire time that we have on Ola Kahaloa um, to talk about, you know, what does OHA do? Because that's usually the number one question we get, and and most of the time, the Office of Hawaiian Affairs gets confused with, or you know, uh, um, people aren't aware that um, we we are not the Department of Hawaiian Homelands. That's a separate complete agency. Um, we are not the Kamehameha Schools or the Liliokalani Trust or, you know, the Luna Lilo Trust. You know, all of those are the different um, Ali Trusts and also the um, the public trust of that has a beneficiary base of Native Hawaiians. All of those, you know, uh, Malama are, are people. Um, but OHA has a distinct and unique function, you know, be separate from, from those agencies um, there. So, um, yeah, we take an opportunity this week, and actually, it's gonna it's gonna be a two part series. We're gonna finish it up actually in the next episode, but we will definitely start. So, if you've ever kind of wondered, you know, what does OHA do? What do we do with our money? You know, um, what kind of direction we're going to go into? Um, that's the show you should watch. So this Saturday, KGMB um, TV at 6 p.m. Uh, okay, let's just get into the papa already. Right now, uh, the reason why we did this format, right, of where we would have um, discussion and bring on guests that talked about um, different issues, different concerns, historical aspects, and and also just the the the, the specifics of of voting and elections and things like that for this year, and then coupled that with a Papa Mele by Kumuhina is that I am, and you know, many of us are firm believers that our mele Hawaii, our mele lahui, right, are very much intertwined with our, our civic duty, our civic responsibility, and the way as Hawaii, we express that, yeah. We know that, that mele have a critical role from an example that, you know, most people are familiar with, an example like Kaulana Napua, right, all the way up to today, you know, where we have probably the next, you know, most famous song when it comes to that mele aloha aina, mele lahui, is um, Kumuhina's very own kuha hill, right? So we've seen that mele throughout our history and throughout our today, even even our modern history from when, from the 70s, you know, into the 80s, the 90s, and the 2000s, how, what, a, what the role of mele have been. Right, the role of us gathering around um, songs and chant um, that we are, it, it, the one great thing about Mele is that is the, the utmost compact tool, right, that you can have, right? It's a tool that if you don't know the words, right, you write it on a piece of paper, you can fold that piece of paper up, put it in your pocket and take it with you wherever, right? It's one of those kinds of tools, right? And then once you, once you're memorized and internalized, you know, those Mele, you take that Mele wherever you go and it becomes a tool for you um, to use to express your your political beliefs, to express your commitment to your communities, um, and to to talk about those values and and those things that are important to you and your ohana, yeah. Um, so we recognize that that has a critical role in that, you know. So today again, we're going to bring on uh, we we we're missing our our third partner in all of this, and that's um, community. Um, Outreach Manager Davis Price, but he's working on something that's coming up, um, coming up very soon in the following week. So we kind of let him go on that today, you know. And it's just me and me and Kumuhina today, um, and bringing it to all of you. So stay tuned, everyone, and help me join in some acknowledgement. You know, we kind of clap all over on Zoom and stuff like that. But let's just bring um, out uh, Miss Hinale Kumu Hinale Moanawak. Aloha Hina. I aloha aloha no yakawa e mihano kala wahine nani mahi e he mahalo anu ya oe a no ko leo ho kipang a no ka ulau na anu no yakakoa paulo no ke ya wahi papahana ike iala 
A ke aloha nui a kakoa pauloa e ke anaina e kalahu i aloha. Mai kahi au au a kahi au au ko pai aina. Mai i Hawaii i moko ki awe a hiki loa i ke one nani hinu hinu o ni i hau a kahele lani. Ke aloha nui mai a kakoa pau. A wau no ke ia o kumuhina. A e ia mai no ke ia manawa no kakou e no o no o pono ai a e... Nune, nune, e pili ana no ia ma, maumea, ma mea, e pili ana no kaha politika no ho ioko kako pai aina. No leila, e nakanaka, kumai, kumai e nakanaka, rise up, stand up, my fellow Hawaiians. E ia no kamanawe holo mua, kumai a nawe like kako, the time to act is now. E ia no ho i kamanawa, a i na pa o e mi nau, who am I? I'm not anybody special. Neither am I, but together we will make a difference. No, no, Kuluo, Hehala, no, Ovaila, no, Kemele, no, Kokako, Papa Ikeyala. Ah, next slide, please. Mahalo, Joe. Ah, Eye no, Yamele, ah, wa, Lahan, Lahamu, no, Ikeyamele. A ka apuni no ka pai aina, pai ka aina mamao, a hele ka apuni ka honua. A no leila o ku umahalo a nui keia, ya opo pa kahi a pauloa, e ke a naina, ka lehu lehu, i himeni aku i keia himeni. Na ke mele a mehana i ha i mua mai ei a kakou, I ka ana ho launa ana noho i a kakou i keia noho ana. Wa poopuka mai no oia, wa kuana mai no oia i kai noa o ke mele kaulana loa, ke mele aloha aina, mele aipo haku. Oia hoi o kaulana nga pua. A wa no no akulu wau, pehea la, pehea la ke ano ka na au, pehea la ke ano ka noo noo ana. Ke rano ke kumu no ka holopono ana i ko keia papahana ma ko olero ma kua hine i keia la. Ma ke make no au e ho oia i ia mea o ke kahua no hoi o ko kaku no ho ana o ke ola ana no hoi o ko kaku po e o iwi. Ma ko kaku aina ma kua hine ka aina o ia hoi ko kaku mainland no hoi. Keia no hoi. O Hawaii, o Hawaii ka pai aina aloha, ka mainland o ke kanaka. Ano leila, i nga pera no ho i ko kakou e no no o ai, a pera no ko kakou holo mua. Ano leila, a o keia wahi himeni a na upaha e himeni na ukou, a leila paha kakou e helu helu i kona unuhi ia ana mai, maka olero perekania. No leila, hi meni noho i kaua e ke hoa e hoa makamaka ko hoa launa a uko e nana mai nei. Ka i ko o ka moana ka i lana nei Hawaii i na uewe a halulu ka honu a haumea Na kulu kulu e kalani ki e ki e kau mai luna au e ke aloha ole akamalihini ku haaheo e ku Hawaii i mama kakaua. O kuu aina o ke e huka kahiaka o na o iwi o Hawaii nei no kuu lahu i e ha avi pau ai ola mau a o he a vale o kou hu alikoa o ke he a ve me ko. Ka mala la valula, me ka kuhi hewa, alu mai pu, alu mai, me ko mano kalani po, 
The sea of Hawaii surges in turmoil. The earth of Haumea rumbles and shakes. The highest heavens shudder up above. Alas, woeful indeed are the heartless foreigners. Our plight. This here uh, in the mele, this is our plight. This is the problems. 
these are the issues. Uh, these are these, these matters of substance that we deal with. Can you all hear me? Ke olu olu na oto no e pane mai. Are we having volume issues? Te hea? Okay, oya, 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 mahalo, mahalo. Ano lila? Ah, eh, to leo pai pai, to leo tato no hi te auto eh na hoa aloha aina, na kia i aloha aina, mahalo anui no i auto, e kauka ohu wahira ni maa, ah, to ohana fukumitsu, mahalo anui i auto, no to auto hele ana, ala anui, ala noha i auto, katiaka anui, ah, hao maka utau, no kele ana, ah, hui hala wai no ka i auto, maleila, makole e ono, ah, ho okupaa, ah, ho i tita, Mahalo, mahalo, mahalo. <coughs> uh, no lela e na ohana. Te lano tamana o o te apautumo. It is our plight. It is a situation that our islands in, are in. And, and the way that we compose things um, in Kanaka worldview and Kanaka culture is that we don't always have to say so specifically what are the, um, the specific issues. But when we are able to select a metaphor that can communicate and convey that we have issues. So um, this mele did not invoke tranquil seas. It did not invoke um, beautiful sunny beaches and um, beautiful uh, lush valleys. And it did not uh, paint a picture of clear blue skies. No. Um, the way we do it in, in the kauna, the, the imagery and the metaphor that we weave into the mele, that is found in this first verse. Tela no na me i i ho tomo i o koe i loko te ya mele i hatu ia o ya no o kuha a heo. Ano lela, e holo mua no ho i katou i tapautu e lua second verse. 
uh, jewel. Mahalo. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Pea nei no ta haina o te uh, pautu erua. Au hea wale o kou pu alikoa o keawe. Me ko kamalala walula me kakuhi hewa. Alumai pu alumai me ko mano klani po. Ka imayana me nakama a ka helelani. A wa no no wau. A pehela no no wau e... <clears throat> Eho ano ai, i kanani, mahie hie, i kamana noho i, o te lahi meni, aloha aina te lahi meni, mele ai po hatu taulana loa o kaulana nga pua. No no pa o to, ho mna o o to, e hea la ana no ta pautu e lua o kaulana nga pua. Na o no paha e hi meni na o to, i mea na o to no e no no mai. Pane mai Hawaii i moku o ke ahave Koku ana honoa o piilani Kako o mai kaua i o mano Pa apu me ke onio kaku hi hewa Al i alohe ana kui i ta olelo no te ia pautu no te lahi meni o kaulana nga pua. No, no, hmm. Ae, ma popo no ia u no te ala katumu. I hatu ia i tera mele me te la. O te la ka leo ka hea. Ka leo hea hea no i te la i nga kanaka a pauloa. E alu like mai, a e awamo like, a e huti like, a e naue like. E like no me te anot kato po e tupuna, e anot kato po e hoi. Tamanawa no e loa ai a kato ke te ipilikia. Aho ohe mea nana e ho ole a e alai i te ala hele o kato poe. Ka hele ana, ka naue ana i mua. Paha, ta mea noho i e pono ai, pone a kato ho o tahi no no o no o ho tahi no mana. No te horo mua ana o te la maukule ana. No leila. Te la anō i hatuai nō au i teia himeni. A brief aside for a moment. I'll tell you exactly why I'm going to be speaking this right now. O te pea gi le awha malo ka ti moutolu ka inga tongo mo si mea mai pete polo kalamani. Pea awha la heat ka ti moutolu mo kātaki ko e lahi ve e le awha ka hawaii he polo kalamani. Te utau ki atu peha ki whomatala maari e ka mou kātaki o mou whanongo mao mai pe ki he ngahi kupu pe mo ngahi rea o hivani. The reason why I put that out there for some of the audience viewers that I know are tuning in now, as I can see on my page, is because this song was inspired by the singing that I do in the community that I belong to. O mato po e hai pule, mato hale pule, he hale pule tonga. Pera no i loa ai no iau, i te ia mou mna o, i hatu i ai te i himeni, a me kaleo no te i himeni. No leila, te lano to uahi leo mahalo, te lano to uahi mau mna o aloha. O ta haabi aloha, me ta haabi ho ihi aku i kanani meitai o mato ohana haipule. O i ho i, a siasi o tonga ta o taina, me ta mato ohana haipule a pauloa. My appreciation and my gratitude because I was not only reared to be able to process and see and think See here, this is where I'm lucky that on this particular um, Aloha Rising, I get to speak a little bit more as the Haku Mele. Because why? Thanks, Boss Mehana. You gave me the whole show today. Thanks, Boss Davis. You're letting me run solo for today. So mahalo, mahalo, mahalo. Um, so yes, uh, for those of you who, who tune in and listen to the different Mele, 
um, much of my inspiration and much of the feelings that I get when I associate the, the singing that I'd like to help to bring to our community. Because there are so many of us that um, are hakumele. Um, these are, this is the place where I get my inspiration and my, um, how do I say it? It's, it's where I derive my strength. It's where I have my grounding. Um, where are you soldiers of Kiave along with those of Maui and Oahu? Unite, join together with those of Kauai, marching alongside the descendants of Ni'ihau. For this verse, as you can see, it says our plea. So in the first verse, it spoke about our plight, the situation that our people and our islands are in. We are surrounded by a plethora of problems. And um, whether you want to talk about our people highest on the list of homelessness, our people highest on the list for substance abuse, our people are highest on the list for incarceration, our people highest on the list for all of the most debilitating statistics and the most um, sobering of, of stats on, uh, you know, where exactly is the modern day Kanaka. And many of our Kanaka have left for America. They have left to go to the continental US and there's only so many of us left at home now. And so all of these thoughts and these feelings, these emotions have gone into this he many. And I don't always have a chance to explain this song, but I'm really, really glad that I, I'm having a chance to go over it, go over it more in depth today. Um, so again, first verse, the plight, the problems, our situation. The second verse is talking about the plea and and calling all of our, our warriors, calling everybody to band together, to stand and unite and, um, and to pull together because we're divided by politics. We're divided by opinions about what's right and what's wrong for our people. We're divided on so many things, but what we cannot be divided on is our genealogy and our culture. And it is our language and, and adhering to the values and the principles, the philosophies of our people that will allow us to build the bridges that we need even when we don't see eye to eye. No, Leila. Tila no, tapautumua ame tapautu e lua. Ohea oe e tapautu e kolu, verse 3. E nawe i mua e nga po kii. O e kalame, hau matahou ana no wau. E nawe i mua e nga po kii, a e inu wai awa awa. E vivo ole a ho okupaa, a ohe hope e ho i mai ai. A na i vale no kakou, kau ko e maui ki ala, au e ki aloha ole a kamalihini. Te rano, ta hua olelo, no ta pautu e kolu. Te ia no i, o yo yo, our plan. So the first verse, our plight. The second verse, our plea. And then after the plea goes out and calls everybody together, oh, we have to have a plan. What is it? What exactly is it are we going to do since we called everybody together and we rallied people to come together to stand up and, and be strong and, and fortify ourselves, our minds and our hearts for the, the tasks at hand, the issues and the challenges that face us. When we think about this, the Pautu Ekolu, it is our plan. What is the plan? The words of this Mele say, move forward, young ones, and drink of bitter waters. Be fearless, 
steadfast, for there is no turning back. Let's press onward, straight on the path of victory. Alas, woeful are the heartless foreigners. Now, I'd like to say something about this, this verse. Um, when I say heartless foreigners, I don't mean every foreigner. I mean the foreigners who come feeling entitled. I mean the foreigners who come feeling that they are better than our people. I'm speaking about the foreigners who come who don't care about our place as the Kanaka, the, the Owevi, the natives of this land. And I'm speaking to the people who, whether, they, um, whether they've lived here for just a short time or whether they've lived here a long time, but then they still um, may not have that heart and that compassion and they may not have any desire to, to really have any respect or, or diplomatic accord for who we are as a people. And um, in the things that I, I do in the community and my experiences thus far, there's a lot of people that love us and there's a whole lot more that really would love to see our Kanaka swept under the rug, pushed to the side, and ignored. Now, um, so our koalo aina who have stood in solidarity with protecting Mauna Kea um, know that this, this song, for those of you who don't know this song, this wasn't necessarily composed specifically for Mauna Kea. This was composed in 2007. It was composed for my students of Halau Lokai Public Charter School, where I was a teacher at the time. And the reason why I composed it is because, again, when we look back to the first verse and we look to the plight of our people, um, there are some really dismal uh, realities that Hawaiians face and continue to face from the time of the coming of the Americans and via the warship that was docked outside in Honolulu Harbor with their guns facing our palace and their removal of our queen from her rightful throne. This is our history and we must consider what exactly do we do with the knowledge of our history once we obtain it. Knowing our history, I was inspired to compose the words of this song in an effort to hopefully give inspiration and hopefully uplift the hearts and the minds of the people who sing it, the people who listen to it, and the people whom it would eventually unite. So, ke olu olu, e holomono ha ikato pautu e ha, verse 4, juo. E lei mau, i lei mau kako, e na mamu aloha. I lei vehi a ali'i, vehi nani o ku'u aina. Hoya mau, hoya mau no kapono siwila. A ho i ho i ho i a mai ke ku o koa. Be honored always, O beloved descendants of the land, that we shall and will always wear this wreath, this garland, the descendants of this beloved place. What kind of uh, adornment will we wear? We will wear a lei of Aali. Our adornment of Aali. For those of you, I, Ina uto ay ano uto tama ay na ite ya me a te me kanu te me uluan na i kanahel hel o yah ho i he he aali o te aali in ho i he me a ite italo ah yah pa ano may yokla ka vevela hala ka vevela na ho yokla ah uan nui mai kahay nui mai tuay ah tahilihili na ho ite makani. Pai, they tell the Makani, 
a ohe mea nana e hoohina a hina pau a haule ta a tumula au o te aali. The aali is a sturdy, hardy, robust, a really enduring plant, and it's its leaves and flowers, if you could call them that, are actually reminiscent of what's the, um, if you can imagine a really, really solid kind of crepe paper that's very stiff and kind of crunchy. See, crepe paper is soft, but if you can imagine if crepe paper wasn't soft and, and it was crunchy. This Aali'i, it's beautiful to behold. It comes in different colors, but when you weave it into a lei, we Hawaiians know the symbolism of the Aali'i. It means that we endure. It means that we are steadfast. It means that no matter the heat of the sun, the blazing uh, rays of, of warmth, no matter the torrential rains and flood waters, no matter the wind that pounds and pummels this plant, it bends, it, it leans, but it doesn't get dug up and it doesn't um, wash away easy. It doesn't die easy. Um, it takes a lot to really impact the Aali. Te rano kutumu no no te a laina noho i ili i vehi aali i vehi nani o kuu aina. The adornment, the the beauty of this, it's it's a very natural beauty. It's not pretty like the exotic tropical flowers. It's not pretty like the fragrant flowers. This doesn't have any fragrance at all. But this symbolism of it and its incorporation into the lei speaks much to the character and the, the dignity and the spirit, the heart and the mind of the Kanaka. Our ancestors endured much in their, um, in, in their journeys across thousands of miles of ocean. Our, our ancestors knew how to navigate without compasses and they knew how to get from place to place and they survived storms, they survived droughts, they survived famine, they survived flood. And they survived many, many things. And we, Kanaka, in the 21st century will continue to survive no matter what comes our way. We will paddle on, especially in the pursuit of civil justice and that which is rightfully ours. And in this, Himeni, it speaks to the dignity, the honor, and the respect that is rightfully ours in our home. That is what went into this mele. Until what? Until this line that says, Aho iho iho ia mai ke ku o koa. Until our independent, excuse me, until our dignity and independence is restored. Now, for those of you who have seen uh, Hawaii and all of the things that we've been through in these last uh, several months, ina oto no no pono mai, uh, ina oto wa ite pono mai, i, i, ite anot kato no ana. No no o pahakato mawa hoako tapa o te yamea malalo to pono America. Katumu, kato he po e kanaka, kato he po e noho ita moana, kato he po e piri no piri ohana no ita po e o polenekia me kanui po e o paki pika. Ah, te lano katumu i kato ia i te yalaina hope o aho iho iho ia mai ke ku o koa. Anolila. E unui pakato i ta ho'oho, ta, ta hui, no ho'i o kei himeni. Joel, let's please go to the chorus. Kuha a heo e ku'u Hawaii'i, mama ka kaua o ku'u aina o ke e hu ka kahi aka o na o iwi. O Hawaii nei, no ku'u la hui e ha'avi pau, ai ola mau. Stand tall, my Hawaii stand proud. Band of warriors of my land, the new dawn for our people of Hawaii is upon us. For my nation, my people, I will give my all so that our legacy lives on. 
Kamnawa no oi hatu ai te ihi meni, te la laina hope no ku ulahu e haa vipau a i o la mau, te la no to una au, no upono i no, to una au te la, no e tu ulahu i, no e tu umau hoa kanaka, no e tu aina aloha. That was my heart and my sentiment that I could put out there as the haku mele of this song for my nation, my people, my Hawaii, I will give my all. And anybody who hopefully would look at this song after I am long gone, I hope that they would remember that the mindset and the heart set and the spirit of, of the individual who composed this small little song. That, uh, that they would know and that they would always honor and remember that it comes from a place that truly does love this place that I call and that we call home. So when I say to all of you in the verse, in this chorus, stand proud, my Hawaii, that means everyone. And, you know, there are many kanaka and there's many malihini, many malihini haole. And the word haole is not a bad word. Um, it just means that we don't come from the same culture and language. But does that mean that kanaka and kama'aina, other other people who are born and raised here and Malihini Haole, people who are from away, does that mean we cannot stand together? No. Um, some people may have different mana'o on this, but as the Hakumele and as the person who has put this thought out in the song, I say to you all that my, um, my view is that we can all stand together and we can all work together and we can actually take a good look, step back and assess and analyze our Hawaii. And I say, I give this call to my fellow Kanaka. While there are many foreigners who may want and may attempt to take advantage of us, take advantage of our kindness and our loving hearts, and they may feel that they could come and do what they can do. This call goes out to you, my fellow Kanaka. What will you and I do? Will you and I be able to step ourselves up and put forward leadership? Will you and I be able to put ourselves out there in the form of raising our voices, in the form of building awareness, in the form of taking action? Now, um, at this point, it would be appropriate to say to all of you that although um, we are doing this, uh, this Aloha Rising, um, this is a very personal manao, and um, this personal manao is that I've never lost sight of Hawaii regaining our independence in the world, because nowhere else will Hawaiians and our language and our history have the place to exist. But my fellow Hawaiians, it's up to you and I. It's up to us to look at what's ahead of us and to think, what are we going to do? There's much that could be done within the current system and there's much that could be done beyond the parameters of the current system. No matter where we go and no matter what we are faced with, we must be absolutely calculating. We must be absolutely um, critical thinkers about how we can continue to advance ourselves in as many ways as uh, we can, in many ways possible. And uh, again, I've never lost sight and I've never given up and I've never stopped advocating for political independence for Hawaii. This song is rooted in that philosophy. However, in, given the current, um, the current status, uh, political status of our people, there is much to be said about what we can do uh, in this current time. And so uh, before we sing this song again, I'd like to ask uh, my colleague Jewel if she can take us to some of the um, of the points of this that talk about why are we bringing Aloha Rising to you? Let's go to the um, 
Uh, the next slide, Joel. Hawaii votes by mail. Uh, took me a long time to personally wrestle with this, but I see that in the here and now, given the current context of our our people and, and the current political status that we hold, we have every opportunity to try to impact that machinery, that mechanism that can either be engaged by people who care for us and have aloha for us, or it can be filled with people who would wash us away just as they would wash away the dirt down the street. So what can we do, my fellow Hawaiians, my fellow Kanaka, my fellow Kama'aina, as well as the Malihini Haole who are watching this? Important dates. And I'm going to let Mehana jump in before I jump back and, and wind up the mele. But uh, July 9th, the final day to register and to receive the ballot by mail. Um, you have the, the website here to register online. July 21st. Oh, hold on, hold on. Uh, July 21st. Check your mail because the delivery of ballot packages will begin. And August 5th. Place your ballot in the mail by this date. Those ballots must be received by August 8th at 7 p.m. Um, this is one of the reasons why uh, we are here on the Aloha Rising Vote 2020 because we would like to encourage all of you to exercise your voice. Uh, next slide, please. Oh. Uh, Mehana, do, um, did I miss anything on the first slide? No, 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 not at all. That's good. That's good. Okay. Uh, usually, this is my uh, my boss, Davis. Usually handles this. So, um, uh, we we can also look here, and you can review this too when we are done with the the Aloha Rising program for today. But uh, the mail out will include a ballot, a secret ballot envelope, a return envelope, and all you need to do is make sure you're registered, make sure you fill out your ballot, and please send it back, return it. Make sure it gets in on time because why our vote counts. It's essential. And like I said, um, Joel, if we can go to the brown slide. Drink of the bitter waters. Be steadfast and be firm, for there's no turning back. We shall overcome everything that is in our path, no matter sometimes how, how, how cruel and heartless uh, people who were once guests in our home could be. Ah, but you see, everyone has a responsibility, my fellow Kanaka and Kama'aina, as well as Malihini. We all have a responsibility to think about this environment that we're in, to think about the home uh, that we make here in the islands and what is healthy for the islands is already found within the culture of my people, of the Kanaka. So, kanaka. what will be the fate of the Hawaiians and everyone else who lives here in Hawaii, you decide. And thus, we continue to bring to you the encouragement and support to get out there, get the vote out, raise our voices, and exercise the opportunity that we are given. Um, I would like to review the melee one more time, but I'm going to bounce right off of Mehana for a moment. Uh, Mehana, is this a good time to say anything about uh, echoing getting the vote out? Uh, no, that was, that was good, Hina. Thank you so much. Um, and as you've seen in this series, there's also, you know, other ways that we are um, civically engaged, right? We had that up up and writing um, short workshop last week from Dr. Oh, Trisha Kehaulani Watson. Um, you know, we also had um, um, on here Professor um, Ken Lawson, you know, talking about, you know, like just, just some of the more current events that are going on, right? There's more opportunities for for Kanaka to, to step forward and, and not only express themselves, right? but also to get information and to get um, educated. 
right? And so we, we, we hope that we're kind of inspiring that. And what Hina just gave to all of you today to, right, to hear from the Hakumele um, about what the thoughts were that were going into these mele, um, into this particular mele, um, should help all of you um, out there, right? I know we have some, some um, great, well, we have in our, in just in, amongst our people, just great songwriters, right? And, and people who compose mele, compose um, pule, you know, for their families. And, and I'm always an encourager of that, right? So think about it. If you're out there and, and you too, like write melee and write songs, right? Um, and, and, and want to weave in the nuances of, of, of what we're dealing with um, today, you know, and, and speak to our struggles and speak to our resiliency on the other hand, right? Um, mahalo Hina for, you know, just diving a little bit deeper into the melee so that people can be exposed to that. Um, here and yeah, like always, right? Um, just the the nitty gritty of the of the webinar series, right? Give you the, the solid information about how it is that you can participate. But yeah, Hina, I'm mahalo nui and, and and bring it home and and mahalo. and do mahalo. your wrap up, and it'll be great. Mahalo. And I don't see any questions um, coming in from either the um, either the Zoom link or um, Facebook. So. You know, if, if no one out there has any questions, then yeah, um, go ahead. Awesome, mahalo. So, once again, everyone, uh, this mele, this composition is uh, but one of the mele that I have composed and um, know that these mele come from some of the most intimate places of my heart. And it speaks to great love and respect and honor for this land that I call home and for you, my fellow Kanaka. And I say to you all that uh, there will be days where many of us will look at each other and you know, depending on the issue, we might stand together. And depending on the issue, we might find ourselves on the opposite side of the fence. At the end of the day, let us never ever forget to have aloha for one another. And let us never forget our opportunity to find commonalities in our language, our history, our genealogies, and to find commonalities for this land that we love and that we call home. You know, Hina, I'm sorry. Yeah. Mahalo, mahalo. You know, you speaking there, right there and, uh, about that. And also, I got a little message um, from one of our, our viewers out there. I'd like to remind everybody one of the things that we can do this year that we can only do every 10 years, but it talks to about our collectivity, right? It talks about how we um, can get counted as, as a collective body of people, no matter where we are within, you know, the boundaries of the, uh, uh, or the oversight of the United States right is through census right and so if we can have you know everyone out there please go out and do the census it's so easy right and it is something that I know um, speaking about what Hina was just talking about I know that I've searched through census documents for my own ohana my own uh, roots utilize um, those documents from the 1900 census, the 1910 census, the 1920 census to put the pieces together of, of who my ohana are. And we have a ability to do that this year too with all of us. So we, we know where our Hawaii are and we can um, and help out where we can, you know, especially um, agencies like us, like the Office of Hawaiian Affairs can do that. So mahalo kabe for um, that little reminder. And, and yeah, mahalo again, Hina, um, for reminding us about our, our unity yeah reminding us about our ability to to come together and that okay hold on one color mine oh no not at all and thank you for also reminding me that we are so surrounded by so many different issues that come to our community um not all of us feel the same way about these issues sometimes um it's not easy to be on the opposite side of something popular Sometimes it's not easy to find that common ground because we feel so passionate about what we feel. But again, at the end of the day, let us leave aloha in our hearts, even for the people that we may not agree with. It is a challenge that I personally work towards. Uh, I, I work on every day, and I hope that you will all join me on that too. Uh, but without further ado, ke olu olu, e ho ino pahakato ita, himeni ho anite himeni, 
Ama mate no e haawi ka leo mahalo. Mahalo anui. E, tu mau tūpuna nā lākou no au i mālama. Nā lākou no au i hānei. Nā lākou no au i, I haawi mai i ka lākou leo wā. Mahalo anui i ka loka mai tāi me tei teita tō o hana ni i hau. Nā tō lākou hānei ane au. A tō i ho i teita ane au e, e hatu i ta umo himeni. A e... A e hai polo le iaku i te ia mau mea ma, ma loko te kato o lelo matua hine. A no leila tu u mahalo anui, tu aloha anui, me ka o lelo hou mai te inui i a kato a pauloa. Ke olu olu himeni hou no hai i kato, i a himeni o kuha a heo e kuu Hawaii i. Hai ko o ka moa na ka ilana, nei Hawaii i nawe wehe. Aha lulu ka honu aumea Na kulu kulu e kalani Ki e ki e kaumailu nawe Ke aloha ole akamalihi ni Kuha aheo e kuu Hawaii Mama ka kaua o kuu aina o kehu ka kahia ka o na o iwi o Hawaii nei no kuu lahu e haavi pau ai o la mau a o he avale o koupu alikoa O ke ave me ko kamala la valula me ka kuhi heva alu mai pu alu mai me ko mano kalani po ka i mai ana me na kama ka helelani. Kuha ahe o e kuu Hawaii i Mama ka kaua o kuu aina O ke e huka kahiaka o na o iwi o Hawaii nei No kuu lahu i e haavi pau Ai o la mau, e na ue i mua, e na poki i, a e inu, a e awa, awa, e vivo ole a ho o kupa a, a o he ho pe e ho i mai ai, a na i vale no kakou, ka u ko e mau i ke ala, Awe ke aloha ole akamalihini Kuha ahe o e kuu Hawaii Mama ka kaua o kuu aina O ke e huka kahiaka O na o iwi o Hawaii nei No kuu lau e haavi pau ai o la mau E lei mau i lei mau ka kou e na mamo Aloha i lei vehi a alii Vehi nani o kuu aina Hoi a mau, hoi a mau, no ka pono si vila, a hoi hoi hou i a mai, ke ku o ko a. Ku ha a he o, e ku u Hawaii i. Mama ka kaua, O kuu aina o ke e huka kahiaka o na o iwi o Hawaii nei 
no kula hui ha avi pao ai olama no kula hui ha avi pao ai olama for my nation for my people i shall give my all so that the legacy of our elders our ancestors lives on into the next of generations malo malo anu ya oto en for tipa no e te ala ah wo no ke o kumuhina te ha ya lo ne ya oto e to ule o mahalo anu no oto laun ana mai ho na anu ana mai i te ya ta pa ana o ta u papa mehana i turn the time back on over to you Yep. Mahalo, everybody, again, for joining us for Aloha Rising. We'll be back again next week, Thursday, at 2 p.m. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I know we're putting, we're putting this show together right now. Uh, it looks good. The next couple of weeks are going to be great. We're, we are moving into election season, so we're going to see a, a lot more of that, you know, coming up. Join us for July's issue of Kawai Ola, which we will have a, a, um, a beautiful insert that will have many of the candidates will be in the printed copy of our Kawaiola um, newspaper that gets mailed home to all of you. Uh, and in it, you know, you will see and get to hear uh, more about different candidates. Um, and then uh, the, the majority of it is going to sit though. The majority of the, the candidate information and responses and so forth are going to sit on news. So if you haven't checked out that online resource yet, go to uh and, and check out that online forum. We also have companion videos to many of our stories. Um, you know, so go there and then you can prep. So next month when on July 1st hits, uh, it'll be our whole issue will be uploaded there and you can get more information on, on other candidates who are running for office in your area. We'll get to know a little bit more about them. Uh, and, and also we're working on, you know, getting some, some candidates out there and um, especially the OHA candidates, the ones running for OHA's races. Uh, so look forward to that too. And when we get more information about that, we'll definitely be shooting it out on Facebook um, and Instagram so that you guys can all get updated. Yeah, again, mahalo kumu hinale moana wong. Um, again, for sharing your mele uh, and aloha to all our our Aloha Hawaii speaking um, audience out there too. You know, we don't get there's not often that you get to hear um, Aloha Hawaii um, in our our media. You know, today so you know we try to you know and, ma and mahalo to Hina for being able to do that. You know, try to offer a little bit more of that today. So hopefully those of you who are, are not fluent in in Aloha Hawaii, you know, could at least appreciate. Uh, the, the the sounds and, and and words of of our our people and our homeland, uh, and, and maybe it'll inspire you to you know learn learn further learn a little Hawaii um, more. That can happen too. Was what was the, that? That was the plan. That was a plan. See, she's so sneaky. Her, yeah, she is the kind. You know, trying to encourage all of us to to learn more Olalo Hawaii, and there's some great online resources. You know, the the platform that we're hosted on is um, Le Anu Nui, provided by Kanayo Kana, and on that platform, on I believe it's well, it's it's different days throughout the week. Actually, now they have a Aikole series on there that is uh, full of Olalo Hawaii um, conversations and and the topics and issues important um, to us too, and now. I believe that they're they're actually hosting the Olalo Hawaii class, you know, on on this platform also. So, yeah, everybody, um, you know, our our Olalo Hawaii is not a dead language. It is very much alive and thriving, and it is very purposeful that that we speak Olalo Hawaii today uh, to not only impact our views on the world, right, but also to continue an unbroken an unbroken line of of communication that kept our people alive here in Hawaii, not only in the past, it still does today. Yeah, so um, mahalo again, Hina, for, for being able to carry on the class, you know, in that way. Uh, so yeah, good stuff today, everybody. And we will see you um, Saturday, 6 p.m. on KGMB for Olakahaloa. And then come back next week, Thursday, for more for more of Aloha Rising. Ahui kako, ahui ho kako, malamapono. Oh, yeah, aloha. <laughs>